Matai, chapter 14. At that season, Herod the Tetrarch heard the report concerning Yeshua and said to his servants, This is your Hanan the baptizer. He was raised from the dead ones, and therefore do these powers work in him. For Herod had laid hold on your Hanan and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Pilippo's woman. For your Hanen said to him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude, because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced in the midst and pleased Herod, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she should ask. And she, being put forward by her mother, saith, Give me here on a platter the head of your Hanen the baptizer. And the king was grieved. But for the sake of his oaths, and of those reclining together to eat, he commanded it to be given. And he sent and beheaded your Hanen in the prison. And his head was brought on a platter, and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took up the corpse, and buried him. And they went and told Yeshua. Now when Yeshua heard it, he withdrew from thence in a boat to a desert place apart, and when the multitudes heard thereof, they followed him by foot from the cities. And he came forth and saw a great multitude, and he had compassion on them, and healed their sick. And when even was come, the disciples came to him, saying, the place is desert, and the time is already past. Send the multitude away, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves food. But Yeshua said to them, They have no need to go away, give ye them to eat. And they say to him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. And he said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitudes to recline on the grass, and he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up into the sky he blessed, and broke, and gave the loaves to the disciples, and the disciples to the multitudes. And they all ate, and were filled, and they took up that which remained over of the broken pieces, Twelve baskets full, and they that did eat were about five thousand men, besides women and children. And immediately he constrained the disciples to enter into the boat, and to go before him to the other side, till he should send the multitudes away. And after he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into the mountain apart to pray. And when even was come, he was there alone. But the boat even now many stadia from the land was distant, distressed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night he came to them, walking upon the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately Yeshua spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. And Petro answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come to thee upon the waters. And he said, Come. And Petro went down from the boat and walked upon the waters to come to Yeshua. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid 
and beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yeshua stretched forth his hand and took hold of him, and saith to him, O thou of little faith, for what reason didst thou doubt? And when they were gone up into the boat, the wind ceased. And they that were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art a son of the God. And when they had crossed over, they came to the land to Gennesaret. And when the men of that place knew him, they sent into all that region round about, and brought to him all that were sick. And they besought him that they might only touch the border of his garment, and as many as touched were made whole.